look, buddy, you'll ride me like a stallion. And I won't worry, cause I'll leave in the morning. Okay, well, of course, as requested, we're gonna talk about the cut off or fuck buddy relationship. Yes, that's what we're gonna talk about. Now, uh, anybody can be a cutter or anybody can be a fuck buddy. I mean, just to fall under the category of this relationship, you just have to simply ask yourself, um, do I have a penis or do I have a vagina? Now, if your answer is yes to any one of those two questions, then you can be somebody's cutter or fuck buddy. Yeah, amazing, right? And that is because there is very little that is required from this relationship, sexual, separate and apart from the uh, casual sexual interaction. You get that? That's basically what a cutter or a fuck buddy is. Now, a cutter really pertains to or is more associated to the female, and the fuck buddy is more associated to the male, but it's the exact same thing. And like I said, anybody can be that. That could be somebody's wife, they could be your cutter. That could be some um, professional chick. That could be uh, some guy off of the street. It isn't like a jungler, so you, you know, you could kind of categorize them as a person, but you could have a person who's a cutter and you never know. Why? Because it doesn't matter your race, your socioeconomic status, whatever demographic you're from, it doesn't matter. It just, what matters is that you are having a relationship, a sexual relationship, which is void of any commitment or anything more than just bodily fluids being exchanged, pretty much. So instead of um, going through the, the, uh, the whole process of, of getting to know somebody, date somebody, maybe being boyfriend, girlfriend, that whole thing, not everybody wants to do that. that it's true. And instead of opting to lay in your bed in the night and masturbating, uh, watching porn, pushing some foreign object inside your body, some people opt to have an actual human being that they can call to scratch that itch that they have or relieve all of that sexual pressure and then they go on with the rest of their day and some people they're so their life is so full or so independent or so egocentric that they really can't accommodate a relationship or they don't want to change stuff or whatever the situation may be. You know, because you know some people even go through this momentary colorism insanity. You see, and then they just go back to being a normal person, and that's messed up. But some people do, and, and the fuck buddy or the cutter, they, 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 actually, they actually help to, to bring some kind of solace to that person. You see? Now, I tell you what, there are some things that if you get into that kind of relationship, you need to understand straight off of the bat. And the first thing is, there is a glass ceiling. The glass ceiling means that relationship grows nowhere beyond you being a cutter or fuck buddy. You have to understand that. Otherwise, you may not necessarily be the type of person cut out for this relationship. You can't, you can't, it's not like you working in McDonald's and today you may be on floors, next week you're on the fries. No, you on the fuck, you on the fries forever. You never ever changing nothing. The minute you try to jump off the fries and go on the cash register or try to be something or do something different, you oh, let me know. You mess the whole relationship up. You change the dynamic. What sense does it make? I mean, a fuck buddy if they want to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend. It, it, it doesn't make sense. So when you get there, you know that that is where you part and that is where you die. You don't have anything else. So the the there are do's and don'ts. <clears throat> like if you are a fuck buddy or a cutter, you 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 don't have like a bunch of regular interaction. They don't call you and not find out how your day was. They're not the person you're going out to the movies and stuff with. They're not under that category of friends with benefits. No, that's not what they are. That is the worst humanly possible relationship you could ever have a friend with benefits. But that's for another video. That that is oh. That? <laughs> but they're not that person. They are the person who, listen, what are you doing? Um, I feel on you. What you doing? I want to fuck. That is that person. If there is either yes or no, the interactions are maybe you may send them some uh, fresh stuff, maybe some video, maybe something that kind of adds fuel and fun to that particular relationship. Separate and apart from that, 
There's nothing. There's no cuddling. There's no going out and holding hands. I mean, some men that they're uh, 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 kind of spend the night or their fuck buddy, he may spend the night. But then most people know, tell that you, you serve the purpose and then you go home. That is it. There is no other aspiration. So if, if your interaction should be purely about sex, and separate and apart, like I, I'd say this, if your period is on, what you going by your fuck buddy for? What you calling him for? You have absolutely nothing to talk about. It's, it's about leg and nothing else. And the minute it becomes more than than, than than that, that is when it becomes absolutely complicated. So you ask yourself, before you develop that kind of relationship, and it's probably going to be with somebody who you may know or who you may have been with before, who you're comfortable enough to actually have that conversation, because not people don't really go out to find a new fuck buddy. They go where they have some history, where they know this person may be clingy, where they're comfortable enough to just ask the person, listen, you know, I, you know, you want to have sex? And it's just that. You know, have that conversation, make sure the parameters and everything are clear. So if you go out or something and you see your fuck buddy, you, you know, you hail them and everything like that, but you don't really get up in their business or up in their face. Why? Because it's not that kind of relationship. I mean, you could see them and crack a joke about their date, and then listen, you know, I come for some of that leg later. You see, but there are there comes a point <clears throat> where every cutter or every fuck buddy must understand that the temporariness of the relationship is very real because your the person who you who may be your fuck buddy today may not be your fuck buddy next year, or that person who may be your cut today. Trust me, he may not necessarily be the same relationship or next year because what may happen what may happen is they may find somebody that they're actually interested in and decide that they want to have a real relationship now they may not cut you off right away because sometimes people get you know some people they get a little bit wiser and they don't cut their fuck buddy off right away they feel the new person out see if they're actually really interested in them because if they had a fuck buddy for the last two three years and they just meet this new person and they cut that person off all of a sudden now they gotta go back and try to either rekindle that relationship with their old fuck buddy that they cut off on air or they have to find a new one and finding a new one is just same damn bunch of BS you know so it, it, it most people when they get serious about a relationship or they actually talk to have sex with the other person then they say okay well listen fuck buddy you know it's been good it's been wonderful but I think I'm, I'm moving in this direction and your fuck buddy should be happy for you you ain't got some free leg for, for, from you for the last whatever now that's pretty much the long and short of it if you think that you can deal with this kind of relationship then fine that'll work for you but if you if you can't if you can't deal with this kind of relationship then no then i think you, you probably ought to find yourself a boyfriend or girlfriend or something like that so there you go that's the cutoff.